Hi, I'm Vincent Taylor. I'd just like to introduce you to our latest Inner City Marketing Report. I hope you find it of interest. It had to happen, ladies and gentlemen, after three years of very strong, a strong real estate market. We've seen a little bit of a slowing down of the market that was expected to eventually hit and we saw signs late uh, 2015 of it um, just starting to creep into the marketplace uh, and certainly the first half of 2016, it's not the robust market that we've experienced in the last three years. Not to say that there can't be auctions that do extremely well under competitive conditions to get extremely good prices, that's still happening. Um, but not every property gets over the line that way. Uh, young people um, have seen the writing on the wall and are turning more and more to purchasing of apartments in inner city, particularly obviously if they wanted to live in inner city rather than moving out in the outer suburbs to secure a house and land. That trend we see is continuing, it's not a fad. And my only advice would be to young people would be try to find a point of difference with your property, whether it be a location plus or design, excellent design, boutique development, something with a point of difference would be my advice if you're buying an apartment in inner city. And there's been some great examples of that even in the first six months of this year. Some properties that come to mind, Miller Street, McKean Street, Noon Street, were all examples of competitive auctions, good buy demand for apartment living, but they had points of differences. Best value, uh, my uh, observations uh, looking at the market and being involved with the real estate market is that the townhouse warehouse market offers amazing value when you compare what properties are bringing or two bedroom, single fronted, renovated home or even unrenovated home and you compare the value and the price range of townhouses, that, the warehouses that offer two or three bedrooms, multiple living areas, sometimes multiple car parking, terrific design, terrific spaces and the value and the price that people are able to pay at the moment I think it represents outstanding value and my tip, if you're looking for a, a bit of a guide, uh, that section of the market has a lot of potential growth in it. Method of sale. Last year we had uh, a bit of a, a first in terms of 100% uh, auction success rate. Now that, uh, just to clarify that, that covers before, at and after auction. So it's uh, the, the system itself produced 100% success rate for 2015, which was extraordinary. 2016, that we've seen that pull back a bit. As I said earlier, the market's come back a bit and we're running between about 90% to 95% in the current market, which reflects, as I said, the, the, just the change of market into a, not a boom market, but more of a normal market. The highest sale for the first half of 2016 was 124 Park Drive Park Hall. Auctioned by Anthony Woodley, it achieved a sale price of 3250000 certainly the standout auction in the first half of the year. The rentals, um, we've seen the market continue pretty much the same in 2016 as we have in 2015. Housing market is always more popular than the apartment market and that certainly is the easiest properties to let at the moment. But if you price the properties accurately, they certainly attract the interest and application from tenants and the right tenants are being put in the property. Uh, looking ahead, uh, the market will probably remain pretty much the same as it is at the moment. Uh, we're expecting, therefore, uh, a percentage of properties we take to auction to pass in. I think that's when the, the skill level um, and the value add level of real estate agents will be really tested and that's something that vendors should pay particular attention to. I think at Colin Sims we're very well positioned to take advantage and offer good add, value add to our campaigns. Should the property pass in, we've got the experience, agents and the depth of our sales team to conclude excellent outcomes for our vendor. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Colin Sims team, uh, a team that have been uh, enjoying with great passion working in the inner city, a specialist in inner city real estate. We wish you all the very best and we look forward to seeing you at the next Open for Inspection or Auction. Thank you.